Hi, I'm Mr. Drew. In this video, we are going to look at two examples of using Cramer's rule to allow us to solve systems of equations um, in a different manner. We're going to do first a 2 by 2 matrix and then a 3 by 3 matrix. The Cramer's rule is really going to be a much more efficient way of solving that larger 3 by 3 matrix system of equations compared to using the Gaussian elimination method. And of course, uh, we do know now with technology that all of these uh, ways of solving these problems by hand are a lot quicker than just typing them into a calculator and getting an answer. But then again, uh, you know, what's the calculator really doing? We don't really understand the process that's being used to solve that uh, work. And uh, maybe someday you'll be programming a computer or calculator to help somebody else. Uh, so at any rate, Cramer's rule. Let C be the coefficient matrix of the uh, system of equations. So we have AX plus BY equals M and FX plus uh, GY is equal to N. So the matrix C, the coefficient matrix, is going to be you identifying, well, we have the variables of X and Y in here, and all the other variables, A, B, F, G, M, N, uh, these are all going to be constants in the problem. And the matrix A, B, F, G is going to be your coefficients matrix. What comes in front of the X's and what comes in front of the Y's, or whatever variables that you have in your problem. The solution to the systems of equation, or that system of equations, is going to be X is going to be equal to, now, this M, N. These are the constants the, uh, that the equations are set equal to. You can see that we've taken out the A and the F in the coefficient matrix and replaced them with the constants, the values, the numerical values that the equations are equal to. Notice the X and Y's again are on one side and just this constant value on the right. So if you want to solve for X, you take the coefficient matrix, you take out the coefficients of X, and you plug in those values of M and N in that first column. Keep the B and the G, keep the coefficients of Y in there, and find the determinant of that 2 by 2 matrix. Then divide it by the determinant of matrix C, just the uh, matrix that we have the coefficients of X and Y in there. The formula, or my textbook, is using uh, just the determinant of C in the denominator because we're going to have the same value in the denominator for both of those um, steps of solving for x and y. So we're just saving some, uh, some writing there. And then y is going to be go back to that coefficient matrix, put the a and the f back in, put the coefficients of x back in, but this time take out the coefficients of y and replace it with those constants of m and n again. And then once again, find the determinant of that 2 by 2 matrix and divide it by the determinant of c, the coefficient matrix of the system. Here's what it's going to look like in practice. We're going to solve x minus 2, y equals 5, and uh, 3x plus y is equal to negative 4. So C is going to be, matrix C is going to be equal to 1, 3 in the first column, and negative 2, 1 in the second, and then the determinant of C is going to be equal to 1 times 1 minus negative 2 times 3. Almost running out of room there. So the determinant of C is going to be equal to 1 minus a negative 6, or 1 minus negative 6, just showing all the work. These negatives are going to cancel out, of course, and we get 1 plus 6 is equal to 7. Okay. Now, that's going to, that value of 7 is going to be in the, the uh, denominator of both of my fractions as I go through the, continue the process to find x and y. So, let's pick a different color here. Let's see the x. x is going to be equal to, well, we have matrix C. We're going to take out the coefficients of x and plug in 5 and negative 4. So, we have a determinant of 5 and negative 4, these constants off to the right. Uh, negative 2, 1, keep that in there, over... The determinant of C, which we already know, is equal to 7. Okay, so we have 5 times 1 minus negative 2 times negative 4 over 7. And that comes out to be 5 minus, now 